Hello friends, and welcome to Power Semiconductors Weekly with Alexei. Past week was full of surprises from all tech giants like Toshiba and General Electric. Another proof of a change in the industries and course for a sustainable future. And now it's time to see what is new in Power Semiconductors industry. Nixperia, the expert in essential semiconductors, announced its entry into the high-power silicon carbide diodes market with the introduction of 650V 10 amps silicon carbide Schottky diodes. This is a strategic move for Nixperia, already a trusted supplier of efficient power GAN thads, to expand its high-voltage wideband gap semiconductor device offering. Nixperia's first silicon carbide Schottky diode is an industrial-grade device with 650V repetitive peak reverse voltage and 10 amps continuous forward current, designed to combine ultra-high performance and high efficiency with low energy loss in power conversion applications. Diets Incorporated has introduced a portfolio of automotive MOSFETs packaged in a space-saving, thermally efficient tall package. Capable of rating to 175 degrees, the 80 and 100 volt rated MOSFETs occupy 20% less PCB area than TO263 package. These devices feature an offboard profile of just 2.4 mm. This makes them ideal for use in high reliability power applications such as energy recuperation, integrated starter alternators, and DC DC converters in battery equipped vehicles. Many of today's key projects focus on the same objective – to improve energy efficiency and thereby protect the environment. These projects are typically in areas such as electromobility, renewable energy, and edge and cloud computing, including the requisite data centers. Experts agree that silicon carbide semiconductors and the electronic components containing them will ensure the most efficient use of the electricity at our disposal. The object of the publicly funded Transform project trusted European silicon carbide value chain for a green economy is to establish a resilient European supply chain for this technology, ranging from wafers and other basic materials right up to finished silicon carbide power semiconductor devices and power electronic applications. In a consortium led by Bosch, a total of 34 companies, universities and research institutes from seven European countries have joined forces to work toward this goal. The aim of the Transform project is to secure a leading role for Europe in new technologies based on silicon carbide. Geely Auto Group announced its Smart Geely 2025 strategy that will continue to keep Geely Auto Group at the forefront of the global automotive industry at a technology-focused event at Geely Auto's research institute in Hangzhou Bay. The release of the Smart Geely 2025 strategy and the launch of the Leishan Power brand represent an acceleration of the group's goal of becoming a technology-led global automotive group committed to technological innovation and aims to boost Geely Auto sales to 3.65 million units per year starting from 2025. Smart Geely 2025 focuses on three smart systems – smart power, smart manufacturing, and smart service. In terms of smart energy, not only is Geely developing in the direction of hybrid power through its Leishan Power brand, the group is also advancing in electric power and alternative fuels. Geely's development in electric power has quietly advanced to industry-leading levels. In batteries, Geely has fully mastered module and battery pack technologies and is ramping up the mass production of batteries. The group has already established joint ventures for battery production plans with CATL and other strategic partners. In terms of electric motors, Gilly has developed advanced 800V technologies including silicon carbide power modules and highly efficient oil-cooled motors. By 2023, Gilly will begin mass production of its silicon carbide power modules. 26 Incorporated, a leader in wide band gap compound semiconductors, announced that it has been selected by Dongguan Tianyu Semiconductor Technology as its primary strategic partner for supply of 150mm silicon carbide substrates for power electronics. The electrification of the transportation infrastructure is driving a market transition to power electronics based on silicon carbide, a third generation of wide band gap semiconductor which enables power electronics to be smaller, more efficient and with lower total system level cost of ownership compared with state-of-art silicon-based devices. Tian Yu, one of China's first and largest silicon carbide epitaxial wafer manufacturers has recognized 2.6 as a leading global supplier of high-quality 150mm silicon carbide with a long history of innovation and ability to achieve scale along with an aggressive 200mm substrate roadmap. 
Ashaba Corporation announced its intention to separate into three standalone companies – Infrastructure Service, Device and Toshiba. Official names of the new established companies will be announced in due course. The separation will create two distinctive companies with unique business characteristics leading their respective industries in realizing carbon neutrality and infrastructure resilience through Infrastructure Service Company and supporting the evolution of social and IT infrastructure through Device Company. The separation allows each business to significantly increase its focus and facilitate more agile decision-making and leaner cost structures. Device Company will comprise Toshiba's electronic devices and storage solution business. Its products will include power semiconductors, optical semiconductors, analog integrated circuits, high-capacity hard disk drives for data centers, and semiconductor manufacturing equipment. It will be a leader in supporting the evolution of social and IT infrastructure. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for staying with me. As usual, more market news coming next week. Meanwhile, go to Marketing Psycho website for more information or join me in social media. Keep in touch and stay safe.